What's good, everybody? It's your boy, T Boy Twenty Three. Yes, it's like three in the morning, man. We're recording this. We just finished streaming just a couple hours ago, and I've been working for about two hours straight trying to set this up, guys. So please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, click that bell to get notified. Share this to all your friends. Try to get everybody to watch this. Try to get the watch time as high as we can on this, man. Let's try to break the roof off this video. Now, all that I ask is I'm going to be doing a 24-hour live stream Friday, this Friday coming up. If this video gets 250 plus likes, if this video gets 250 plus likes, I will do a 24-hour live stream this Friday, April 2nd. It will probably start at 5 in the morning and go until 5 in the morning Saturday or something like that. I'll get you guys to figure out numbers uh, for like the times you would want me to do stuff like that. But that's up to you guys, man. We are going to jump into this. We're going to be breaking down every single tower, item, gun, all that stuff in World Defenders. That includes all Robux towers. We're not going to talk about the cost of the gun, the, the, um, like if it's a Robux item or if it's a, um, coins item. We're going to just break down all the stats and what I think is the best, tr like, is, I'm going to be ranking it from trash to not bad to starter towers which are just things you would start with in the game we're also going to be going through insane towers stuff that that will just finally get you to that next level then godly towers including godly guns insane guns stuff like that but godly is that top tier where almost like no matter what if you have these placed down in the end you're almost guaranteed to win every single time so if you guys think this helps you out Please let me know in the comments. I'm not trying to make this, you know, intro a little long or exaggerated. We're going over every single tower and gun in the game. So sit back, relax, hit that like button. Like I said, 250 plus likes on this. And we'll do a 24-hour live stream on Friday, April 2nd. So let's jump into this, man. I already placed everything around. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys really, really quick. So we're going to go through. We're going to start with, um, I did custom make this, by the way. It's my own. World Defenders Tower Ranking List. If you want to know how to make this, just go into uh, Tier Maker. And you guys can make your own list, and I can check them out. If you guys make your own list, send it to me on Twitter, a screenshot of it, and um, your thoughts and everything in a little post, and I will uh, check it out. I'll, I'll leave it a like and a comment, and maybe for a video we can check it out, um, just all your guys' little things. Uh, but let's jump into it. So first off, we're going to start with Trash. So as you guys can tell, this is the, um, the Trash layer. Um... Now what we're going to do is the best way I'm going to break it down is I'm going to start with the towers. We are going to start with the towers, which is the caveman. He's actually in the trash section, guys. He's in the trash section. So stage one, we're not going to talk about stage two, three, or four. We're only going to go off the first stage when you place them down and when they're maxed out. That's how I'm going to break them down. And that's how you guys are going to know what's really, really good. I'm going to give you my full honest opinion. I've used everything in the game. I have every single tower in the game, guys. And I've been playing this for a long time that i, I kind of know what's good for certain stages now you guys might have your own opinions let me know in the comments but the caveman at stage one he starts with 12 damage per second has a hundred range and it only costs four thousand to place him down it's it's the first item you start with in the game you know it's not bad max out he gets 150 damage not really good uh, 160 range that's not bad and it costs fifteen thousand to max him out he's under the trash one because I'm not gonna lie after you get like your first tower or so you don't really use him anymore you don't really use him anymore now we're gonna jump into the next one i have on the list which is the airstrike now the airstrike as you can tell is up top it is number one now i know they've been having issues with um balancing out the damage and stuff like that but besides the issues it off of its stats and i've used it it is absolutely amazing it, it belongs in the godly tier because it starts out with 500 damage per second and a hundred range now the range doesn't matter it's a track tower now it costs fifty thousand a place which really is not expensive compared to a lot of the higher ranked towers it also comes with splash damage 250 splash damage has a thousand health for whatever reason it said it had health um it also has a speed of 12 which is one of the slower towers 
and it takes 45 seconds to spawn. That's when you first place them down. So it takes a lot longer for them to come down the track when you first place them. But maxed out, he does 4,700 damage, 100 range, costs 300,000 to max him out, which is not the most expensive, not even close. It also has 2,350 splash damage, 1,000 health for whatever reason. 12 speed, so the speed doesn't go up, but the spawn time drops 10 seconds, maxed out. This tower, if you include all the splash and everything, I believe it does the most damage in the entire game off of the specific stats. It is above Santa's sleigh. Now we're going to jump into the fence. My bad if I do have the numbers wrong on this. The fence, um, I haven't used it recently, and I forgot what the uh, starter damage was. And it, I've heard it might have been nerfed a little bit to 80,000, but it could be wrong. When I first started, it was 90,000. But the fence is in the insane section. Insane. Not godly, because I don't think it's godly. And it's because it takes a long time to spawn. I believe it's 30 seconds every time. Um, it never said in the stats. Stats are kind of missing a few things. But it, I, I was told from other players that it does 500 damage to start. Only costs 4,250. So it's really good at the beginning too. Is also a starter tower. Um, but the downfall is... It, once the damage is out, it takes about, I think, 30 seconds to spawn. It could be wrong on that. Sorry about my numbers if I'm wrong on that. But maxed out, it did do 90,000 damage. It could have been dropped to 80,000 from what I've heard. There is a chance I got dropped. And maxed out, it cost 300,000. So it's a little steep on the upgrade end. But for 90,000, you can complete, you can take out the entire Mammoth boss on the easy map with one hit. One hit solo, you'll take out the whole thing. And I believe even in co-op. Co-op, it has 75,000 health. So you can take out the entire boss with just one hit of the fence. That's nuts. That's what makes it insane instead of a starter item. Now we're going to jump into the sniper. Now this dude's stats have changed so many times. It has changed so many times. It used to be a starter item, but now I feel like it's just a not bad item. It used to be starter, but yeah, now it's not bad in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you why. The, the numbers change all the time. Now he only does 30 damage per second. 250 range to start range is amazing and it costs 5,000 to place them down now max so he does 300 damage per second eh, it's not really that great but it has 500 range obviously the range is absolutely amazing if you place on a bunch of these they get you pretty far but you couldn't win a game with these and it's not something to start you could there's other things you could use in the game that are just better and you'll see once we get into the starter section it costs 75,000 to maximum but he also has splash damage was pretty good that's not bad um, we're gonna jump into the Jeep now the Jeep is going to always be a starter item the Jeep is one of the coolest starter items stage one you know it starts with 250 health so it does 250 damage on a hit um, his speed is 16 he also has a spawn time of 35 seconds and only costs 4,000 it's only 4,000 and you start with like I think 6,500 you start with 6,500 casts you can place one of these down and end up saving up for a um, a visit center or something like that. But maxed out, he does 600 damage per second. It's not bad. He also has a range of 150, so he shoots a gun. Now, the, it equips a gun once it's on. It's also a track tower. Um, it has a health of 5,000, so also when it hits its opponent, it takes 5,000 health. It has a speed of 16, so the speed got just left alone. And the spawn time got dropped 5 seconds, so spawn time's 30 seconds now. And it costs 100,000 to max it out. It's a little steep on the max end. That's why it'll never be in the insane section. It's it's pretty steep for the uh, the numbers and stuff like that. That's the downfall. So sorry if I'm yawning. By the way, <laughs> I told you it's late. So it's not bad. It's it, it's one of the better starter towers in the game. Now obviously the visit center you can put this godly insane. It don't matter. It's needed. It's always needed. There is some maps like some easy maps you don't need a visit center to win. But doing a hard map, you're going to need a visit center. You are going to need a visit center. It's I'm pretty sure it's next to impossible. It might be doable, but it's it, it's going to be pretty close to being something hard to beat with just, you know, your weapons or towers. It starts off, when you place the first one down, it costs 3,000. Um, it gives you 675 cash per turn. So after every wave, you get 675 cash. But when you max it out, it costs 30,000 to max out which isn't bad and it gives you 15,000 every round so after two rounds you already made back the money you just paid to max it out so obviously it's a needed thing it's the one, only item in the game that's really going to be giving you money 
it, it's your money it's your bank you know so you guys definitely definitely need that item in the game now we jump into the scientist i used to think the scientist was good but statistically he's trash i'm sorry he is so trash i'm sorry if you guys use some of these items i am sorry Whew. again sorry about the yawning the um the scientist starts out with 25 damage per second and 100 range range ain't bad but the damage per second is so trash for 5,000, you can get so much more for the Jeep. So I would say, stay away from the scientist, man. It's absolute garbage, like garbage. Unless you get it in the crates, it's absolute garbage. Now, max out with just 200 damage per second. Again, eh, it's not really that good. And 170 range, only jumped up 70 range. That's kind of trash. It costs 50,000 to max out. Cost ain't that high, but for the price, it's not really worth it. Now we're going to jump into the mortar. Now the mortar is in the starter section. The mortar is one of those items, you know, that it's absolutely amazing to start. It's been a, a big fan thing now. A lot of people are starting to use it now. I don't think it's the best. I think it's still pretty good though. I think it's really, really good for a starter tower. Um, something that gets you guys in the game. It's a little expensive for a starter tower. It costs 10,000 to place down and only does 64 damage. And 150 range with 30 splash which isn't bad um but max though does 720 damage pretty good uh has 300 range which is really good and has 30 splash so the splash doesn't change at all but it costs 100,000 to max out so it's not too bad um you know but it's it's pretty good for a starter tower in the game now we're gonna jump into the flame i used to absolutely love this thing i thought it was a pretty cool tower when i first started playing um that was just my opinion. I, I, I was just a huge fan of it. And to start, it cost 7,500, so it's not too bad. It's a little steep, though, because it only does 30 damage per second. has 50 range, which is trash. Um, it does 3 burn damage, and it only lasts for 5 seconds. So you're, you're not really getting much out of it. You're only getting, like, 15 damage out of that. Um, Max, though, does 306 damage. Not bad. has 100 range, so it doesn't really do much for you range-wise. It does 60 burn damage for a last of 20 seconds and costs 50,000 to max out. So it's under the not bad. I used to like this thing to start. It was one of the items I used to start out with. But, you know, looking at all the towers now, and you look at the stats, it's under not bad. Now we jump into the Village Hunter. One of my personal favorites to start a game out. So he's under the starter section and still probably one of the best, if not the best, starter tower in the game. I'm gonna live by that. I think it, uh, my opinion is better than Abominable Snowman. Just my opinion. I'm gonna get hate for that. I think it is. It costs 8,000 to place down, and it does 75 damage per second with 150 range. Maxed out, it costs 60,000. It's not bad. It does 700 damage per second and 275 range, which is absolutely amazing. It is a tower you just sit there and it um, does its thing. It's not a track tower. Now you also have the skeleton army. Now the skeleton army is under not bad. It's under not bad because it costs twelve and a half thousand. It's a little steep for a starter tower. It costs, you know, it gives you seventy-five damage per second, one hundred fifty range for that price. It's not really that great, and it costs seventy-five thousand to max out. It gets two hundred fifty range and six hundred twenty-five damage. So it's not bad on the damage there, but it. I have it under not bad just because I don't think it's at that level to be good for a starter tower yet because it's just the stats just aren't there for the price it cost. Now, next, <sighs> next we have the super soldier. Now the super soldier when you start out it costs twenty thousand and he has eighty damage per second and one hundred and fifty range. I used to love this tower. Maxed out, he does a thousand damage per second and three hundred range. And it costs a hundred thousand. Now the upgrades are not cheap for this. Like I said, to place them down costs twenty thousand. I have them under not bad. You can put them under a starter, but it's a, it's a fine line between that only because of how expensive it is. And you can just there's there's a lot of other towers that you could use over him for cheaper and just that will do more for you in the time. His max damage is really good in his range, but it's just it costs so much to get there. So that's that's my reasoning. Uh, for why that would take him down a notch um, now we're gonna jump into the leprechaun now the leprechaun is under not bad and he's not under trash he's not under starter either the leprechaun is just not bad and the only benefit to him is if you guys 
want to get coins it's, it gives you a bonus so it costs 7500 to place them down but it gives you a 25 percent chance of earning two times the coins for the the round you play so if you finish around you get say five coins to use for crates or to buy towers at the end of that wave it has a chance of doubling that you know so it has also damage 45 damage to start with trash 100 range which is better than actually some of the, the worst are towers and he does maxed out cost 30,000 very cheap very very cheap he has a 200 range which is pretty good 240 damage eh, not really good but he gives you a 75% chance on getting double the amount of coins for the waves you're in so that's not bad it's a high chance of for what you can get and you know he's also an event tower so I'll go through all the event towers and tell you guys in the end and yeah you guys will be able to see not everything robux related is going to be the top and not everything coin related is going to be in certain sections so the next we're going to jump into the orb now the orb is under starter the reason the orb is under starter it does a pretty decent amount of damage for the speed and when it's upgraded it's not that expensive so it costs 20,000 it's a little steep a little steeper on the uh, starter towers you could save up for them it is doable um it's a little bit more tougher challenge to get to him now when you first get him he has a speed of 15 which isn't bad 40 spawn time is not that great and it has 1500 health basically 1500 damage that's not bad uh once it's maxed out it does 480 damage per second and has 200 range because it brings out these lasers it's also a track tower now it brings out these lasers and on top of doing all that it also does 15,000 damage and has a speed of 12. the spawn time doesn't change at all it's 40 the entire time which is the downfall to them which is why i haven't lowered the list but it costs 50,000. I'm sorry, guys. It costs 50,000 to max them out. It's a really cheap tower to max out and get, you know, your a bang for you know what you're paying for. You know, you're getting your your buck back for it. You're getting what you're paying, and I think it's pretty worth it. Now we jump into the snowman. He's also in the starter section. Now cost 7,500 a place. Which is not bad. It's a pretty good price. 74 damage per second and 125 range. He's he's just a little downgraded to the village hunter. Um, you know, Maxo costs 50,000 to 650 damage per second and 250 range. He's basically village hunter, just kind of dumbed down a bit. So, really, really good if you're looking for something like that. Now, he's he was a part of Xmas, so you guys cannot access him right now. I don't know if any of these towers will be coming back. I think it'd be pr pretty cool if they did. So, hopefully, once uh, the older events come back. Maybe we get these towers again. Or maybe they'll put them in crates for you guys to maybe access. Now, it costs 60000 for the satellite. We're jumping in the satellite, man. Now, satellite is under Godly, man. He's up here under Godly. Costs 60000 a place. Pretty steep. But he's one of those late game towers. Does 400 damage per second, 175 range, and 20 speed. Speed is the amount, you know, the speed it has moving around and rotating and stuff like that around the map which gets its targets and stuff like that now maxed out cost 300,000 it's really expensive now but this tower does 2700 damage per second has 300 range and 20 speed so speed doesn't upgrade but that damage and range is insane guys that's, that's absolutely insane it's almost like rambo rudolph but less stats it's rambo rudolph but like just cheaper that's really all it is, man. It, the, that's exactly what you're getting with them. Now we jump into the helicopter. Now the helicopter is under starter and not insane just because it's not overly good for the price. So it does when you place it down, it costs 25000 to start. It's not good, man. That's expensive for, you know, something that's only going to do 100 damage per second. 160 range and a speed of 16. Now maxed out. It costs 150,000. That's a little expensive, but it does 1,200 damage per second. Jumps up to 225 range of speed of 16. Because of how expensive it cost, that's the reason it's under the starter section and not the insane section. Just because it's really, really expensive to place down and expensive to upgrade for what you're getting. Now we jump into the new tower, man. Now you guys can see we got the bunny ranger now the bunny ranger i have up here under insane i'm gonna tell you why it's trash at the beginning its first four upgrades are trash now with the bunny ranger it costs fifteen thousand. not that expensive 
does 90 damage per second it's not great has a hundred range pretty generic but max out only cost 115,000 think about it. helicopter cost 150 to max out and 25 to place this one costs 15 to place and 115,000 to max out and does 1400 damage and 300 range it does more range and more damage than the helicopter for cheaper that's a big difference you can also unlock this by beating the easter map 20 times if you don't want to spend the robux it's a free thing to get in the game but if you're struggling or you just don't think you'll beat it then you can buy it for robux it's one of those towers brand new tower just dropped absolutely amazing maxed out now we have the dino hunter he's under not bad he's not really needed it's just for somebody who's struggling in the end it's that last kick if you're someone who struggles in the end now what the dino hunter does is you it costs ten thousand to place him and he gives you a boost of seven percent damage to all or seven percent stats i guess to all of your towers within the vicinity of that hundred range max out it cost a hundred thousand so it's a little steep on the cost but it gives a ten percent boost to all stats all around 200 range so that's why he's under not bad just because it's if it's needed it's a really great tower if not he's under not bad so i put i don't really do use him often he's just under not bad i use him just for the fun here and there now we're gonna jump into little lizard now with little lizard you've got him under starter i put him and tiny turtle together they're basically the same type of tower just one's track base and one's not now with Lil Lizard, you've got him costing 20,000 to start, so he's like the orb, 20,000 to start. Has a spawn time of 30 seconds, which is better than the orb. Has a speed of 20, and his health is 2,000. So he starts off doing 2,000 damage per second. Maxed out, it costs 100,000. He says 20,000 damage, but he also has a speed of 20 and spawn time of 30. So he just jumps up to being 20,000 damage. That's his big difference, but it's really, really good. A really good track tower. I think it's worth it. I think it's pretty good if you need something that for that extra kick before the bigger rounds. Now, Lovezilla. One of the cool towers, man. I really love this tower. It's a pretty cool tower. Um, I like the design of it, the animations. Now, this is a tower you place down. It costs 25000 It's steep at the beginning. Its first few upgrades are steep. I have them under Insane. Mainly because in the end he gets buffed a lot and for the price of the final upgrades, it's not expensive to upgrade him, it's just expensive to place him. So he's not a beginner tower, he's more of a later tower. Now he starts off doing 120 damage per second and has 150 range. Now, Max Doty, it costs only 95,000 which is cheaper than some of the guns out there guys. And it does 1400 damage per second with 300 range. A few of these things, and you're cooking a lot of these enemies, man. You're doing so much damage out here. It's absolutely insane. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments. I want to see the timestamp of this part right now. 23 minutes in the video. I want to see that timestamp right now, guys. Let me know you made it this far. Let's keep going. Smash the like button. 250 likes for 24-hour live stream, man. Let's get it. All right, now we jump into the pumpkin, which is the pumpkin cannon up here. Really, really cool tower. I have him under insane, mainly because of his damage maxed out. So he costs twenty two and a half thousand a place. Not bad. It's kind of an odd number. Now when he starts out with one hundred and fifty range and does one hundred and fifty damage per second, not a lot. But when he's maxed out, costs only one hundred thirty thousand. So really cheap. Actually, I'm kind of shocked how cheap he is. One hundred thirty thousand with two hundred fifty range. So he goes up a hundred range, but does three thousand five hundred damage. That's insane, guys. Insane, which is why he's under insane. I was going to put him godly, but I just don't think he shoots fast enough. I don't think his animation runs fast enough for him to really have an effect like some of the insane towers. The towers up in insane are up there for a reason. Now we jump into Tiny Turtle. Like I said, costs the same as Little Lizard. He's 20,000. Does 96 damage per second. Has 200 range. Range is really good. Max already costs 100,000 just like Little Lizard. And um, he gets 300 range, which is absolutely amazing, and 1,200 damage per second. So he's really, really good. You could also get him in the crate for free instead of spending Robux. If you're looking to get this tower, little, Liz little you know, Tiny Turtle is one of the best starter towers in the game if you can save up and get him. He's got me really far when I first started playing the game. Got me a lot of coins, and that's a really good thing to help you guys out. Now we jump into the Polar Pair. 
Polar Pair costs 20,000 to start. It um does 100 damage per second, has 150 range. Maxed out, it only costs 125,000, has 350 range, which is a lot. Which is why he's in the insane, just because of the range. Because he does 1,200 damage per second, like Tiny Turtle, but he has 350 range, which is up in the higher ranges for some of the towers out there. So, uh, and it's just, it's one of those things that it hits for longer because it has that extra range so you can have him out further than other towers. So that's why he is under the insane section. Now we're jumping into Mecha. Now we're hitting godly towers. So you got the purple Mecha robot. It's a tower you just placed down and it costs 5,000, which could be used at a starter tower. Like it really could. It only does 50 damage per second, but has 150 range. Not bad. Maxed out. This thing costs 350,000. It's more on the steep end. It's more of an end game situation. It does 300 range, which is really good, but does 3,000 damage per second. This thing absolutely just bangs it, man. It's just a constant laser shooting machine gun. It just goes nuts, guys. Absolutely nuts. Now we're going to jump into the Cyclops. The Cyclops is from the Halloween event. It is also up here in under Godly because it does 400 damage per second, which is a lot to start, and 170 range. Not bad on the range. Only cost 60,000 to place, but maxed out, it only cost 125,000. That's it to max out. Has 425 range. 425 range is insane, guys. That's insane. For to do 2,400 damage per second. One of the craziest towers in the game. For what you spend, it does not cost a lot to upgrade. And you get so much for what you're, you're spending on. Now we're jumping into Santa. Now this is not Santa Slay. This is Santa. Which is under insane. Now, Santa costs 60,000 a place. Just like a lot of the other ones. But only does 350 damage per second. It's not bad. He's just under Cyclops. Now he has 200 range, which isn't great. To maximum, it costs 100,000. So it's like a lot of the other towers. Under like the starter and section and stuff like that. But the benefit is, for making him insane, is because he gets 450 range, which is nuts. One of the highest ranges in the game. Now, he also does 2,240 damage per second. It's a little lower on the damage, uh, you know, scale, which is why he's under insane and not godly. Only because of his damage not being above, say, 3,000 or 2,800. Somewhere around that section, you know what I mean? Now, we're hitting into the T-Rex. T-Rex is under insane also. He costs 45,000 a place, so he's a little steep, but not too steep. Has 160 range, because he shoots out his mouth. He's not a track face tower. He has... 260 damage per second, so it's, it's okay to start. Now, max out only costs 100,000, has 400 range, which is insane, and does 1800 damage per second, guys. It's absolutely nuts for what you're getting. You could also get this one out of the crate. All right, we're gonna jump to my favorite tower in the game, man. My favorite tower. Now, I could be cheesy and stuff like that and just throw them into the godly. I'm not going to. I, I think he deserves a buff. Now, I know this for sure. He does cost 1,200 Robux. He's one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive thing in the game, alongside the Zombie Rex. Now, him costing 1,200 Robux, the reason not under Godly, because he's not worth it for a Godly type of tower. Absolutely amazing mid-game type of situation, but even starting, like, if you save up just enough to get him, he's really good at the start. Um, but... For 1200 Robux, it's steep, man. I'm going to see if there's a way that they can buff his stats because it needs a big buff. It costs 30,000 to place him. A little steep. Has a spawn time of 30, which isn't bad. Uh, speed of 20, which is, I think, the fastest in the game. And just 3,000 damage to start, which isn't bad. That's not bad. Now, to max him out, it costs 60,000 to max him out. He also has 30 spawn time, so it doesn't change at all. Speed stays the same as 20, but does 20. 5,000 damage when he hits so he's really really good the animations are absolutely amazing And I just think he deserves to be insane, but not godly. I do think that I put him in the right spot Now we're jumping in the zombie Rex who also costs the same price as him Now zombie Rex is up here under godly and that's because he costs 70,000 a place which is steeper end 
but he also has poison so he does 10 poison damage per second for 30 seconds straight there's 250 range and has 400 damage per second to start that's pretty damn good and he just stands in one spot he's not a track based tower if he was track based he'd be number yo this man would be probably number one up there now max out he costs 400,000 that's very very expensive to max out which is why this tower is one of those mm, you know it's a tough tower to use it does 2800 damage which is insane has 400 range maxed out and does 50 poison damage for 30 seconds so he has all these little extra hitters to make him godly but it's just it's expensive now a lot of these ending towers that we're gonna be talking about here are expensive so get ready for it now the Indominus one of the best towers in the game it's been on top you know one of the top towers for a very long time They've been struggling to get people to not want to get this tower, man. Everybody's just, this tower's been around for a long time. And it's just one of the best towers in the game. It costs 60,000 to place. Does 5,000 damage to start. 40 seconds spawn time is a little high on that. But has a speed of 20, which is really, really good. Now, it, it costs 350,000, cheaper than the Zombie Rex, to uh, max him out 350,000. Spawn time drops to 30, so it drops 10 seconds. Has a speed of 16 and his health it hits for 60,000 but on top of that it does 1,000 damage per second with a laser and has 500 range that's the max range that you can get with any tower in the game that that's insane guys that's sniper tower type of range that's insane absolutely insane now we jump into the Santa Slay now the Santa Slay costs 70,000 a place it's more of an air track type of tower uh, so it flies in the air it has a spawn time of 45 seconds, which is absolutely horrible. The spawn time is trash on this thing. Has a speed of 15. Does 1,000 health for some reason. I don't know why it has 1,000 to start. Um, has 150 splash damage and 100 range doing 600 damage per second. It's not bad to start. Now maxed out costs 400,000. It's on the steeper end. It has a spawn time of 35 seconds. Speed of 15, so it doesn't change. Health 100. Splash is 1250. That's insane. 1250 splash damage is insane, guys. It has 100 range and does 5000 damage per second. It's the highest in the game. It's not number one because it's kind of iffy on how it works, but for what you're getting, it's definitely under godly for being one of the best towers in the game. Now we jump into Rambo Rudolph. Rambo Rudolph costs 70,000 a place. He has 500 damage per second to start in 225 range. So starting, he's not bad, but it's definitely not insane. Now, they've had to nerf this dude because he was way too good. They've had to nerf him, guys. He's, he's insane. He's way too good, and he still is. He does. It costs 350 to max him out. He has 350 range, which is nuts. And it gives you 3,216 damage per second. I'm pretty sure it used to be 3,500. Um, but they had to drop it because it's just it's too overpowered, guys. These things are just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Now we jump into the final tower before we get into the guns. The Spectral Rider. He is up here also. He's going to be up here in the godly section because he costs 70,000 a place. But to start, the 7,500 health damage. That's insane. 7,500 damage to start is just wild. He has a 40 second spawn time and a speed of 15. Now when you max him out, it costs 400,000. So he is steep on the upgrade, the final upgrade. He has a spawn time of 30 seconds, so it drops 10 seconds, which is really, really good. Has a speed of 15 and does 75,000 damage. 75,000 damage is insane, guys. Absolutely insane. Now we're going to jump into the guns. The final things, you guys have been asking me your thoughts on the weapons. And we have every single weapon involved besides the crossbow because it's not in the game anymore. Now to start off, we're going to use the dino gun. It's your starter gun. It is your starter gun. It does 3 damage per hit. and has an ammo capacity of 10. Now, to max it out, it costs 75,000 on the final upgrade. And it does 140 damage. The highest out of every gun in... Or, second highest out of every gun in the game, I want to say. Yeah, second highest. And it has a 10 ammo. So that's the downfall of why it's not up any higher. Is because the ammo stays at 10. That's not really good in the game for the cost you're playing. It is not automatic, so you have to click the entire time. Which sucks. So it's under starter. Now, 
again under starter is going to be the blue and green snow cannon and all the snow cannons are the exact same the only difference is ammo now they cost seventy-seven and a half thousand upgrade all of them to their max because they're all the same gun just different stats they all do 160 damage maxed out but they all start with three damage per hit now the blue one starts with 10 ammo which is why it's under starter it is also a clicking gun and its ammo does not upgrade at all the green cannon is also under star just because it doesn't leave 15 ammo so 15 ammo is not really that great but the red one is up in the insane section because it gets 20 ammo so you get 20 shots which is really really good 20 plus ammo capacities are absolutely amazing for further on in the game you want to get as many shots in as you can and 160 damage is absolutely nuts absolutely nuts to help you guys out now we jump into the candy cane I would have put it under godly but because it doesn't do a crazy amount compared to what you can do with the other three guns I put it under insane it costs 80,000 to max out but it starts out doing three damage per second and has a 15 ammo capacity so it's really really good when it starts um, the, the ammo capacity is great but maxed out it jumps to 30 ammo which is nuts that's why I'm still kind of debating on whether it's godly. I want to keep it in insane. I'm going to stick with it. But it could be up at godly section. Now, the Dragon's Breath. The Dragon's Breath the only gun right now that does burn damage, point da poison damage, anything. There might be a poison gun in the future. You never know because there are towers that do poison damage. But this gun does burn damage when upgraded. Now, when it starts, it has a 3 ammo or a 10 ammo capacity, but it's 3 damage per second. It's not that great when it starts, and it's a little bit more steep on the upgrades. The max upgrade costs 100000 It's the most expensive one in the game. I believe so. Hold on. Yeah, it's the most expensive one in the game when you max it out. But it does 90 damage per hit, and it's just a straight flame that's just flaming on top of doing 10 damage. So realistically, it gets 10 burn damage for an extra 10 seconds. So you're getting 190 damage, basically, off of your hits with a 25 ammo capacity which is just insane that's why it's under godly guys that's exactly why it's under godly then we jump to the rex blaster which is also another robux gun now this gun has four damage per second at the beginning four damage per hit which is the highest one to start it has a 10 ammo capacity costs 90,000 it's more on the steep end 90,000 upgrade becomes a full auto and has a 25 ammo capacity for 80 damage hit so that's absolutely amazing for being a full auto it shoots really really fast for what you get and it's just up in the higher list because when you start you do more damage it's four damage per hit instead of three like the other guns now the mecha blaster the only reason it is up here it would have been under insane but the reason it is up in the godly section is because it has a reload glitch you unequip it and equip the gun and it's a max clip right away you don't have to reload go through the animation it's incredible best gun in the game at the beginning you can click as, as quick as you click is how quick it's gonna shoot um, other like the other guns where it has a delay in the amount of times you're hitting the triggers and stuff like that on this one I click it it's shooting so that's what makes it amazing it's, it only does two damage per hit at the beginning but it starts out with a 20 ammo capacity when maxed out it gets 30 ammos in its clip and it becomes a full auto and does 60 damage per hit it only costs 67 and a half thousand which makes this godly because it's one of the cheapest guns in the game for what you're getting guys it's absolutely amazing one of the best guns in the game i think it's personally the best gun in the game for the money you pay it is also a coin gun so that is something you guys can get for 800 coins if you guys did enjoy this man please let me know in the comments i want to know your favorite parts and if you guys think i did good on this i plan on doing more of these in the future whenever there's a bunch more towers added maybe doing an updated list like that um this is the second one we've done this time we have all the guns and all the towers in the game so let me know man did we do good is there a couple things you guys would change let me know your favorite parts in the video but that's it man i hope you guys did enjoy please smash the like button 250 plus likes on this video if you guys want me to do anything like a 24 hour live stream we'll do a 24 hour live stream on friday if we get over 250 likes on the video. So share it to all your friends. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Click that bell to get notified. We're on the road to 100k. Let's get it, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy T Boots 23. And I'm out, man. Peace.